Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and this video is gonna be very interesting because in this video I will tell you how can you create your first API and this is a demo video only because I'll make a total course on this because uh, this is something which can be very useful for some people who want to work on backend and uh, when, when uh, they are working on backend then they need something to work with right so we are talking about dart everywhere right now in this channel so we we are talking about flutter where we are doing the mobile app development then we for the database or for the uh, you can network call for the server we are using firebase which can can be useful for some people who are working individually but there will be some people who want to develop their own backend or who want to create their own rest apis so for them this video is uh, totally made up and uh, this is just a demonstration of what we are going to do how we are going to do and then you will uh, expect future videos depending on the response on this video so please let me know after this watching this video that what's uh, your opinion on this and uh, how we can you know uh, what 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 are your suggestions also so what we are going to do for, we will make the rest apis in dart and for that we are going to use a very good framework which i went through some some months ago uh, i guess in december and uh, i totally liked it but at that time i thought that uh, this is not something which uh, i can totally uh, make video on so because i wanted some things already there for a mobile app development and everything so that is why i made flutter videos and uh, right now we have a lot of videos and now we can move to backend part so this is the framework i'm talking about this is equiduct this is made by some developers from this uh, stable kernel organization i guess and uh, they have a good uh, uh, documentation as well so this is an object oriented multi-threaded http framework mobile developers will love and absolutely you will love this i know that this uh, this has not got that much uh, you know uh, response from everyone because nobody has checked it yet because maybe dart is not that popular and nobody is doing the backend stuff in dart but again i find it very useful and uh, it is kind of very good and we'll also talk about databases then we will go to uh, postgresql uh, database and we will see all the tutorials for that as well so uh, here uh, something which will help you in uh, going through with the documentation and everything so uh first of all also please make sure to check this flutter example apps where we will uh, i will also upload the dart uh, tutorial uh, on this repo only so we will make another uh, you can say like uh, another header with the dart and then we can upload it here also make sure to check the uh, facebook group or we can you can join there let's flutter is the name of the group so let's talk about equiduct so it is a, a framework for writing the uh, rest apis or uh, you can um, you know if you know dart then it it will be a good way to go so what you need to do first of all you need to install dart then you need to activate equiduct by running this command and then you need to create your application so let's see how it works okay so i am here with my terminal and please make sure that you have dart installed otherwise it will not work so here what we will do we will run this command pub global activate aqueduct okay so it is already activated here but uh, oh sorry activate it is not active okay so yeah so it is saying that package aqueduct is currently active at version 2.5.0 plus one and uh, it is resolving some dependencies for me it is actually uh, activated already so i don't have to activate it but uh, it will take some time i guess 20 seconds are already there it will install some things for you and we are done okay now what we will do we will go to our desktop dart and then we have a backend and here we are at this uh, particular location here what we can do let me just clear it here we will say aqueduct create okay first api so this is name of our api first api 
and we will press enter it will run some commands it will fetch your project for you and this is just a basic demonstration we will go through everything in future so please make sure to comment on this uh, video because that is how i will um, know about uh, what what you guys are expecting and um, is is this even uh, useful for you guys otherwise there is no sense in making anything okay this this uh, project is created this new project first api is successfully created now i'll open this in my this intellij idea or you can use vs code or anything you want here we will go to desktop then we will go to our dot backend and first api and i will click it okay it is saying create project from existing source i will say rather than importing i should open it right okay so let me try it again we will go here dot uh, back back end first api and we will open it and here we have this uh, project and let's see what we get with this project so you can skip this uh, uh, dot folders we have this bin folder where we have this main dot dot and then we have this lib folder where we will have all the uh, main um, classes which we will use then we have this pubspec.yml let's see what we have here so we can also enable dart support okay it is done fine so we have nothing here we can add just we have one dependency which is aqueduct which we need okay now let's go to main.dart here you can see this is our main method which is uh, the execution point here it is calling this new application which is first api sync uh, we will see what it is that and we have this configuration file path first of all which is config.yml then the port which we are using is 8000 here we have a number of instances as, uh, as two if you have a lot of cores in your uh, like uh, if you have a good machine then you can change this uh, by using platform channel so uh, i'll talk about that also so this is what we, which what will be printed when we will run our application okay then let's go back to this first api dot dart which which has just a library first api and it is exporting everything then we have this first api sync dot dart which is important class which is extending this request sync class which will give us some uh, setup router method and will open method and in this router we will route it wherever we want so we are routing it uh, at, to this example let me just remove it so we will route it to the slash okay and then we are returning key and value so let's say we can return um, my name name not name uh, message and we can say welcome to dot first rest api okay so this is the response which you will be returning and uh, that's it I, guys i guess uh, we are done with here so let's just open the terminal again let's clear it let's cd to first api okay now here we can run this command aqueduct serve which is starting this server okay now let's press enter and uh, it will launch our website okay success we got the success now we can run it okay where we will run you might be asking that so you need to run it to this uh, port which is 8081 on the local host so let's see whether it works or not so we can add this 80 uh, what was the port 8081 so now you can see here we got welcome to dart first rest api this is the message we got this is our first api we will connect it with the database and everything in the future so that's it guys we will do more thing in this uh, video uh, series and uh, please uh, let me know by the comments that to how you feel what you expect and uh, what are your suggestions then we will make more videos on this uh, dart rest api so that's it guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not the subscriber like the video if you enjoyed it and uh, also make sure to press the bell icon so that you can get the future updates as well so thank you so much bye bye Take